Hi friends and welcome back. It is day four of the Ugly Art Club's five minute challenge. Um, I will tag the information for the challenge and for the Ugly Art Club down in the description below. Make sure to go check them out. Um, they're a great resource of um, just getting in your studio and playing. So I'm starting off today, the, uh, the prompt is rooted, and as you can see, I actually forgot to start my timer, which is the whole point of this challenge. So I started my timer, um, I'm just getting some paint down on the page, uh, trying to take away that blank page syndrome that can take over when we stare at a blank page. Sometimes it can just be fairly intimidating. So it can be great just to grab the first supply that you see and just start in. Or I like to start in often with um, some scribbles on the page. So I'm taking this piece of drywall tape over here and I got an idea of instead of using it in the cream white color like it comes in, I could try painting it black here and seeing um, how that looks. So I'm just doing that with my finger. I didn't want to dirty um, a brush with the black gesso. So, and I like the uneven texture that it gives. Next up, this is my Stabilo Woody uh, pencil and uh, just creating some marks here on the page. I'm going to put a wet paintbrush to that so that the pigment spreads around and becomes more uneven. And even now with that pigment still on my brush, I'm going to spread out that pigment a little bit more um, and make it a little bit more grungy on the page. Next up, I am going to scribble a little bit. And even with my page wet, I was okay with that. It kind of spreads out the, the pigment in a weird way, which I like. So working in a vertical spread like this, um, as I mentioned in the last couple of videos, this is new for me, but I am enjoying how um, these pages are going. I'm starting to get more in the flow of it. And so this stem right here, this these leaves that I had drawn, I drew them a while ago and I really, really liked it. But the problem is, is it's so tall that in a normal journal, I cannot use it um, unless it was a bigger journal. But I often work in smaller to medium sized journals, so I have had not had the opportunity to use it yet. So I thought this would be a perfect time. And the prompt rooted just reminded me of things growing and flowers and stems and such. So I thought, well, might as well use it today. Um, there was a lot going on on the page, so now I'm taking just some white gesso and toning things down a little bit. So I know that I want that stem to be the focal point of the page, and so I'm just toning down what's going to be in the background a little bit. And white gesso is always a great way to do that. Now the Stabilo pencil from before was not completely dry, and so the gesso did mix with that a little bit, but I'm all right. Um, with that, it just creates a more grungy effect. I'm going to put that um, drywall tape down and see where I want this flower placement. I'm going to give it a uh, uh, fold just so that I know exactly where that um, fold mark is going to be. And I think this will make it easier to glue down and I think it will stay in the book a little bit better um, by doing this ahead of time. Sometimes when we glue over the middle like this, um, after we open and close the journal a while, it creates kind of a bubble underneath and becomes unglued. So I'm hoping that this alleviates that to some extent. If you have questions about the supplies that I'm using, um, I usually link things down in the description below. If I missed anything, please don't hesitate to ask and I will um, try to find that out for you if I know where things are from. Next up, I'm taking that prompt tab and um, I wanted to grunge it up just a little bit. So I had that cap, the black gesso cap, and I was just kind of wiping the ends of it um, in that cap. I didn't want it to cover where the words were or anything like that, but just rather around the edges. 
I think about it as kind of a, a revised way or a grungier way of, I know like in scrapbooking days, I would take like an ink pad and ink around a page. And I think that can still be a fun look, but I like the grunginess of either doing it with the black gesso or a Stabilo pencil, just grungily going around the outside and with the pencil, then adding a little bit of water around it. So I've toyed around with both of those um, a little bit. I'm drying off that label quickly. Um, I know if I glue it down and I press where that glue is still wet, it will get over um, the writing. Putting in just a little bit of washi tape. And I like how this spread turned out. Um, in the beginning, after I did those three circles, I was really questioning myself there. I thought oh, that was a very bold look and it was not the look that I was going for. But I think by adding the white gesso that toned things down and then the the tall stem over to the one side. I, I really like how this one turned out and I'm happy that I got to use that piece that I had been saving and that I could use it in a way that... Um, turned out really well I think so and in my eyes that is a great way to use something that you've been hanging on to um, <laughs> don't hang on to it just you try to use it in some way so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's spread I hope that I can see you tomorrow for day five of the ugly art club's five minute challenge have a great rest of your day